Tala police station. Tala PS is informed at 10 10 that there's yeah. an Apache there. Yeah. Yes. Notwithstanding all this, the securing of the crime scene and other the seizure and everything takes place at 11 o'clock, 11 30 in the night. When you are taking the dead body yeah. for the purpose of performing post mortem, yeah. is it a case of unnatural death or not? If it is not a case of unnatural death, why do you have to perform the post-mortem? Post-mortem starts at 18, 10 hours. Yes. It comes to an end at 19, 10 hours. Yes. What was the idea in registering UD at 23, 30 hours? At That's the FIR, mother. That's not the UD. No, sir. No, sir. Who is this assistant superintendent non-medical? Who is this person? Is, he, is this assistant... Uh, Superintendent, a male or a female? I believe it's a female, but I, I just make sure. Female. Her conduct is also very, very doubtful. Why did she act in this manner? The complaint was made in 23. That's what he said. No, this is given to the director yesterday, but he mentions that the complaint which is mentioned there, the allegations were made by him and see similar annex chair B. They were, he made these allegations in 2023 in writing addressed to many people, many officials. Yeah, yeah. So, Sibyl, there's only there's one aspect which is extremely uh, disturbing. GD entry in regard to the unnatural death is recorded at 10 10 in the morning that's correct right so correct. at 10 10 the uh, the police station uh, in this case the tala police station tala ps is informed at 10 10 that there's yeah. an unnatural death yeah. yes notwithstanding all this the securing of the crime scene and other the seizure and everything takes place at 11 o'clock 11 30 in the night no 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 Mother, that's why I've got timeline. Mother, this is a bit okay. unfortunate. I'll just give you the timeline. Exactly. What are you doing up, uh, up to there? Well, kindly, kindly. I've given minute by minute what happened, Mullers. We have a timeline prepared for your lodges, Mullers. Uh, and it's backed by videography. It's not, Mullers, something that we are saying. Lord, can I be shared with the timeline? Yes, yes, we'll share it. I wish, I wish you had asked, uh, uh, shared uh, what you passed on to the We court. don't have to but ask, doesn't you have to give it but to doesn't CBI. Matter. Doesn't we matter. Doesn't matter. I don't have to request. Have to my lords. Could we you are bound to give you everything given to it yourself. You have not given. As per the autopsy report, yes. the autopsy was conducted in the evening hours of 9th. Yes. No, no. On 9th. On 9th. On 9th. 9th August. Yes. yes. Now the GD entry. Yes of unnatural death case was recorded on 23.30 hours, on 9, that is 11.30. No, that's for the FIR, FIR. UD case was in the morning, Malats, 1.47 p.m. for the report submitted to us. No, that's why I have the timeline, Malats, it's better your lordship. I give it to my lord. 23 is the FIR. One second, allow me. The scene of crime, including inquest, seizures and autopsy, were carried out mentioning the GD entry number 542 dated 9 8 2024. Now, this GD entry and, was and, made and 861. And it's case number 861. Yes. Well, let's, may I, with your Lordship's permission, let's allow me to place the timeline before your Lordship, given minute by minute, as to what happened. And well, there is kindly can hold on. Just give it to my Lord, please. Mr. Sibyl. Yeah. Just tell us from your record. At what time the post-mortem was performed? Yes, I tell you, Lord. Yes. From your record? Yes, yes. That is, for the time being? 6.10 to 7.10 p.m. In the evening? Yes. Correct? Correct. Yes. When you are taking the dead body yes. for the purpose of performing post-mortem, yes. is it a case of unnatural death or not? If it is not a case of unnatural death, why do you have to perform the post-mortem? This is a case. Just, 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 so that sorry. you can respond. So, to sorry, it. sorry, sorry. There are so many questions. Yes, yes, I agree. I'm of course. In our mind. Right, right. And we have the best of the assistance. I'll have to construct this for your lordship. Mm. For example, I mean, page two of the case diary, the UD case, requisition of the of the magistrate for inquiry, 
just mother's kindly see requisition Arma, for inquest can you that, tell us at what time the inquest panchnama was drawn yes we just tell you that that also we have in the timeline 4 20 to 40 40 pm 4 20 to 4 40 pm and now the record reveals the report which we have in our hand that UD was registered after the inquest panchanama, after the post-mortem. Mention the UD. But that's page number two of the case diary. That's what we are trying to point out. Now, Mr. Solicitor General, yes. has the CBI collected the record which is available to them? Yes. They have collected? They, we have collected. Is any officer present today? Yes. Who is it? The Joint Director, CBI, my lord. Uh, Ma'am, you have understood our question. Come to page 12 of your report, which has been tendered today. Read para 10 in your mind, in your mind. Page 12. Tell us, is this record correct? If, is this Correct. Yes, sir. It's Correct. based on the uh, documents given to us by the Kolkata. Why are they showing us some different time? Which is the document they are referring to? Sir, uh, it's diary. It's diary. I have it with me. Please diary. Sir, this is based on the GD entries and the documents given to us by Correct. the Kolkata Police. But look at the time which you have stated. It is there, sir, in the GD entries. No? Can you show us? Can you show us? Yes, sir. I'll you know, yes. I just put a mark in my lord uh, passing. Well, they are mentioning the GD of what happened in the entire day, my lord. If you're watching that, look at page two. Page two, my lord. Page two, it, the application made to the magistrate with the GD and where the UD entry is already mentioned. You may be right, Mr. Sibyl. This is something which even the criminal procedure code doesn't prescribe. Yes, exactly. The entire procedure yes. which has been uh, followed lost. by your police, yes. police of the state, yes. it is something which at least I have not come across yes. in 30 years of my... I know. <laughs> I appreciate it. But Manas, the facts must be before your lordships. Right. That's the important thing. The, real the facts. first thing we want to confirm is, yes. is it true? That the UD case was registered at 23 no. 30 hours, and that the post mortem and everything preceded the registration of the UD. No, case. no, 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 Mullahs. We'll have to answer. Yes, yes, no, please, please, Mullahs. Second question to yes. you, Mr. Sibyl. The second question. Who is this assistant superintendent non medical? Who is this person? Is, is this assistant uh, superintendent? A male or a female? I believe it's a female, but I, I just make sure. Female. Her conduct is also very, very doubtful. Why did she act in this manner?